Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to take your existing slides and quickly turn them into video lessons. Let's go ahead and get started here. The first tool we're going to use is Canva. I'm a big fan of Canva. They have great design templates and it's a great way to make a good looking presentation. Now, one of the things you can do when you hit the present button is just present them full screen, but go to the right and you can also present and record. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we'll hit the present and record button right here. And that'll launch us into the recording studio. And we're going to be asked to turn on our cameras if we want to, or we can turn the camera off and just do voice over the slides. I prefer to have the camera turned on so that students see my face as well as the slides. And you'll see that on the right hand side here, I have my speaker notes that can help me as I'm recording. So I'm gonna start my recording. Hey students, this is Mr. Byrne. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about this or that and why we choose different things. This is a game that we can play in the classroom or anywhere else. It's very simple, just look at the pictures choose which one you like and explain why and make sure you listen to your friends when we're ready we'll get started here here's this or that number one would you prefer pizza or cake and so then i can just end the recording and that's going to save my recording as a video file that i can then upload to youtube vimeo or anywhere else that I'd like to share my video lesson. And so now that it's ready, we have a link that we can copy and share with our students. You might put that in your learning management system, or you could go ahead and download that file and you'll see that it's going to create an MP4 file right there on my desktop. And I can then, again, use that wherever I would like. The next thing we're gonna look at is the option to use our existing Google Slides to create a short video lesson. And so here's my Google Slides about making and teaching with asynchronous video. And I'm gonna pick up right here on this slide. And I'm going to use, in this case, screen Castify, which is right in my browser. You'll see it right there. Let's go ahead and launch that. And I'm going to record again with or without my webcam. I'm going to record just this browser tab, not my entire desktop. Let's go ahead and record that. And we can see here, I could even go and do it in a slideshow format and now record and say, hey students, it's Mr. Byrne. Today's topics are all about best practices for creating instructional videos, the equipment you do and don't need, how to avoid copyright problems, how to make your lessons accessible to all learners and how to make sure students actually watch your video lessons like this one right here you're watching right now. Tip number one, try to keep them short and sweet. So then when I'm done, I'm just going to stop that recording and we'll have my video lesson right here, saving to my Google Drive. Now, if I need to edit this, I can go ahead and crop it right here. Let's say I want to crop a little bit out let's crop the beginning of it we'll pick it up right there save that version of it and again when that new version is saved it's going to be available right in my google drive but i also have this option right here to export the video and i can download that file as again a video file that's stored on my computer there it is
And now our third option for creating video lessons with our existing slides is built right into PowerPoint. And you can see here's my sample PowerPoint presentation all about roadside attractions. And we're going to record right here in this PowerPoint presentation. And so we're going to do that by going right up here to where it says record. And I want to record, let's just say from the beginning. And when we do this, we'll now see this recording option that I have available to me. Let's go ahead and start recording. And here's my sample presentation. And we can see I even have drawing tools here. I can advance the slides and talk about this image that's right on my slide. Let's go ahead and stop it. And when I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and I can export that video as a video file. So those are three easy ways to take your existing slides and turn them into short video lessons. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.